Well, good afternoon, everybody. You know, I just finished doing an awesome workshop for a great organization and their clientele. It was a great turnout, great content that was being shared to them on commitment. And today was just a day for me to add another layer to their already great brand and who they are as people personally and professionally. And one of the areas that I was touching on was the idea of the fear of perception. And, you know, living in this culture that we have right now, people like to um, really emphasize a lot of people's definition of who they are based on perception, based on the fact that, you know, how a person looks, behaves, or how they are means that they're a certain individual. And fear of perception can not just cripple someone's potential, cripple someone's passion, cripple someone's progress in life, but it can also add to the, if you will, negative culture um, that is reflection of racism and placism. You know, one of the things that I've found in my years when perception has always been one of the things that I've had to battle and learn how to cope with is that when you have a perception and it's placed upon you and you can see it, feel it, and sometimes even hear it, uh, your job with that perception is to not feel that you have to, um, if you will, change it for other people, but to seek understanding of where they're getting it from, meaning if it's a stereotype or if it's from social media or music or whatever. And what you need to do with it is leverage it to help you be better because you can't change the world until you change yourself. One of the best ways I've learned how to leverage perception is by always doing the opposite. So if someone sees me as this big, tall black guy and supposedly he might do something, the first thing I'm going to do is, hello, good afternoon, good morning. Can I open the door for you, please? I'm going to give you something that you wouldn't expect. And that's what happens with people who have perceptions. They don't expect things. And then all of a sudden they change their tune or change their mind for a brief moment. Not all black guys are bad. Not all these people are bad. These guys are not okay. These girls are okay. They're, they're always going to be that moment. And what you have to understand is, is that as long as there's racism, there's placism. And when there's placism, what you have to do is you have to learn how to cope with it for you and not worry about the global view of it. Focus on what is in your environment and your reality. And when you're able to do that, you'll learn how to rise above it and learn how to um, challenge the status quo of perception by allowing your effort, your productivity, your performance, and your attitude on how you work through life instead of fight life. It comes down to that right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's about working through life, not fighting it. And let's try to see how we can cope effectively and efficiently by not allowing perceptions to take over us or destroy us or compromise us. Perceptions are there. They will always be there. But you have to make sure that they, they don't apply to you through your effort, your attitude, your, product, your productivity, your, your performance, knowing that how you take care of yourself will be a reflection of how people will define others. Have yourselves an awesome day.